Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Mad Tea Party. We hope you're ready to spill the tea. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Derek. And my name is Ryan. And today we are the hosts of the Tonys. Yeah, it's Tonys Night, Swap. baby. Something. It's a Tony swap. And yes, the Tonys are tonight. Yeah. And luckily, we are still getting them on TV. If you are not aware, we are actors ourselves. And um, we love Broadway just as much. Possibly even more than we love Disney. Um, we are headed to New York this summer. And we are going to be seeing a lot oh. of the shows that are nominated tonight for the Tonys. And actually, every single show we're seeing except for one, because it's not even open yet, is nominated for either Best Musical or Best Revival of a Musical. So we're going to be seeing some good shows. And I'm pretty sure most of the actor, actress, like the nominees, are in those shows as well. Um, so this box swap was created and hosted by DC over at Broadway Disney Fan. You should go check them out. Um, we are tagging the channels down below that are involved. I believe it's only four of us. I think yeah. it's us and DC and Jake over at Jake's Disney Afternoon and also Ajana Claire, um, who we had the luck of sending a box to. So you should go check her out, see what we sent to her. Uh, there's one item in there that I am still considering ordering. Myself. I'm jealous. I'm jealous of some of this. These swaps, I, when I go shopping, when you go shopping and we're like, oh, we got this for them. And then it's like, so we always get that one. Yeah, we're getting addicted to these swaps, mostly because I really like wrapping the boxes. He wraps a good box. And if you've not seen any of them, go check out the one that we just talked about, link down below, mm -hmm. um, with Ajana Claire or- Oh, I don't know. I don't think I said her channel name. Her channel name is Zoelle's World. So Thank you. Yes, Zoelle's World. In honor of Tony's night, this box swap, um, the requirements included one uh, Broadway themed item from a small shop, one item of official Broadway merch, and just any other surprises uh, that you thought your recipient might enjoy. Disney was not a requirement. Nope. Um, however, we were able to say what shows we liked. Um, looking back at the 10 shows, shows that we chose, it was interesting because I think that we've seen so many shows at this point that it was really hard to choose. And, and like when I looked at the other, I thought, this is interesting because I don't know if these are the 10 that we would have actually chosen today. First of all, I want to show you the amazing I Heart New York on the side. I'm also just going to go like this a little bit so you can see the really cool Times Square sticker we've got on the top. And oh, this one as well. Got a really cool new York. Which, right now, the uh, playing on Broadway is New York, New York, uh, based on that movie, but uh, Candor and Ebb musical. They got a couple nominations. Where am I opening this from? Here it is. And I even, un I even undid it. Okay. Are you ready? <laughs> We've not... This way. Thank you. That is probably a good idea. D23 oh. box that we also have. We, yes. First up, there's Ooh. the orange bird. All right, I'm going to start past the orange Whoa. bird. We've got a lovely New York postcard here. Tony Award prediction. Oh, okay. Boys, happy Tony Awards. I hope you enjoy all of these goodies, all purchased in the heart of the theater district, Times Square. And may the best musical win. We got really lucky, and you are really lucky to live there. I I love this already. That's awesome. And on, I didn't even, this is the cutest card, Jake. Um, you already know, everyone, that I am also a huge fan of the Disney Afternoon. Um, so I'm a sucker. Love it. Tony Awards Predictions. Abbreviated. Abbreviated. Um, I'm going to start further down um, with Best Actor in a Musical. He is saying Josh Groban for Sweeney and Sweeney Todd. How do you feel? I guess we won't see it before. Ben Platt is in that category for Parade. And so is Christian Borel. I think the Some Like It Hot, I, the other leading... 
I haven't I've, actually made any predictions. I haven't these. either. Now that I'm like thinking about it. Um, for best actress, he has Michaela Diamond from Parade, who I actually hope wins. She's, I I will see it, and I'll really know for sure. But I think she's like, I've seen performance; she's incredible. For best revival of a musical, he said Parade, and I think that there's absolutely no way they are not gonna win. Yeah. For best score, he has some like it hot. I like that score. I do too. I I think that that's possible. I do too. <laughs> um, and then best musical, this one is what I want it to be. Me too. I don't think it's going to be. I, I would like. To however, say. so he, Jake says, shocked. Um, so we haven't even seen it yet. We haven't even seen it yet. It's gonna be great. Um, All right, so let's get started. Inside, this one is from Broadway Up Close. Um, it says, from a small shop in the heart of Times Square. How exciting! Hey, I opened the right one. <gasps> For sure. Um, so here we have. Card inside gift shop. Broadway up close. We need to definitely stop by here. Uh, Broadway's beginnings. Schubert Brothers and Beyond. This is cool. Um, so this is an information card about Broadway up close. That's really cool. They actually um, do tours. They and they tour one of the theaters I've never been into, and I want to so bad. The Hudson Theater. That's cool. Um, Ghost Night Tour Haunted. Broadway. Thank you for sending this to us because on our we we always go see shows and then we don't know what to do in between. Um, there is, so first of oh. all, there's a hat. It says Theater Nerd. That is so cute. Um, so that's amazing. Hey, it, the black and red. All black, all down. I love this hat. And it will get a lot of use because I am in fact a theater nerd. Um, and wear hats all the time. Uh, there's some more in here, which I didn't realize. Got some stickers. Uh, <laughs> The Tony Awards are my Super Bowl. That's true. Um, and then also, Broadway, baby. It's Pride. Pride, Broadway. All right, we've got two small things here that are wrapped. Name the theater, Beauty and the Beast. Lunt Fontaine. Name the theater, Hades Town. That is in the Walter Kerr. <gasps> oh! Oh my gosh. One, I was right. So this is gonna start something new because we might, now I need to know and I might message you sooner than later or just comment if I don't message. Did you get these from like a shop or did you get these from the lot like, the actual theaters he got it from broadway up close so everything in his oh they came from broadway close. yeah we're going because yeah. i want one for every theater i've been in yeah that's cool that's a lot of theaters which these two i have been in both i will tell you we will be heading to broadway shows this summer we haven't been in a couple of years and we have not been since we started it's collecting pins. 2019 so our bank account's about to get hit hard yeah. um so here we have the the cur um, at the marquee outside of the Walter Kerr. Um, it's so beautiful. That's a beautiful pen. Our Broadway pen collection is about to get crunk. For some reason, names always bring back memories for me. And in the Walter Kerr, not only did we see Hades Town, I saw Alyssa Strata Jones and a little night music. And maybe something else. Then. I like that. They, they're the ones that have the, the marquee that you like with all the rainbow colors within it. The one, all the little, the, the ball. Was in? Yes. It was also falsettos. Um, and then the gorgeous Lunt Fontaine. This is, we're actually going to see, I believe Sweeney Todd is there right now. There you mm -hmm. go. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that um, oh, yeah. that That's Sweeney Todd is at the Lunt. And Hades he's, Town no, was Hades Town was the one. Beauty the but Beauty and the there. Beast gotcha. what, ran there for, for years. Okay, so we almost missed one. <laughs> and um, I found it on the floor, and I know the answer, so ask me. Name the theater, SpongeBob. Palace Theater, which is currently closed, and I also saw Legally Blonde there. Jealous. Fun fact. I feel like that might be the only cool. two shows I've seen there. Um, this tissue's so cool. Oh, that's a really cool marquee. And guys, I can't wait for it to reopen so we can have more Broadway theaters. Oh, that this pin series, 
is going to be a wallet emptier. Oh my gosh. That's really cool. It's so retro too. Mm -hmm. Like it looks very 70s. Mm -hmm. Now I gotta have, and I'm saying I, we have to have a whole th like New York board now, I feel like. Well, we were starting to buy. We were, we started to buy show pins. So it worked out, thanks. It worked out. I, I adore these. These are so cool. Mm -hmm. All right, this next bag, I Heart New York, Times Square must-haves, especially if you get to haggle them down. Oh, no, what is it? Here's a shirt inside. Oh. It is New York, the Big Apple. Yes. And New York, the Big Apple. These are cool. They are really cool. And I like that one is in color and one's in black and white. I do too. These are really cool shirts. They are. Thank you, Jay. A real New Yorker. So those were fantastic. There is one more thing here. First off, it is in a tote bag that Derek is going to want to keep. Well, I... Oh, okay, I thought it was the the bookshop for a moment because I just kept seeing Broadway, Broadway, Broadway. Broadway Merchandise Shop .com. It's Broadway, Broadway Merchandise Shop .com. So if you can't read, it says... Oh, it's from the Museum of Broadway. Museum of Broadway, Broadway, Broadway. We're going when we go. Oh, definitely. It's... it's There's wrap stuff in there. Oh. oh, I am so excited for this. Hold on, I'm just gonna start with this one thing that's not wrapped. Because it matches my shirt! Oh! <laughs> it is a- uh, It's a souvenir program! Yeah, the souvenir program from Moulin Rouge, which is one of the last shows we saw before COVID. Um, oh my God. And you know, we never buy these only because we never, like, we spend too much money on so many things and we're like, Truth be oh, true. and this is gorgeous. It makes me want to buy more of them. Oh my gosh, yeah. I loved this show. This um, is actually one of my favorite Broadway experiences with seeing the show. The I, set agree. Is I agree. It's a really great show. And um, I'm excited. We're seeing Anne Juliet, which has a similar vibe musically. And I will tell you, I even went into it very upset about the music because I was in high school when the original movie came out. <gasps> and I was kind of upset that they changed Elephant Love Medley, that they changed a couple of the songs. And then when I saw it, I was like, oh no, they just updated it to the times. Like they did a amazing job. Come what may, I will love oh, you till my dying but day. But show Aaron Tavay and Karen that Alivo. Oh, this is really, really cool. Thank and you. So, thank you very much. And now we do have some of my favorite things. It's the, it's the, um, the flyers that you get at the hotels and the people hand out. So let's see what we've got. We've got, we'll start with the Nickelodeon Universe one. We've got Epic Fun that you can go play with. Oh, there's an amusement park. Who knew? I clearly did not. We've got Wicked. Ha let's play the game. Have you seen it? Yes. I have too. New York, New York, a new musical. We've not seen it, no. but I mentioned it earlier. Hades Town. That's cool. We've seen it, we've and we seen have that it. one. Oh, Moulin Rouge. I will go. I saw it, and I got the T-shirt. We saw it, and look at the next one. The Lion King. I don't know if we saw that one or not. And actually, we waited way long to see it too, and it was so good. Um, Aladdin. It always uh, makes me laugh to see these new ads because that's uh, clearly not James Monroe Idleheart. So I like to see. I like they. Casting. I love that they they update them. Which is oh. kind of uh, the oh, it's coming up. Oh, little shop. I just freaked out because of little shop six and Juliet, which we are seeing. Oh, yeah, I cannot see. wait. We go. Um, Hamilton. Hamilton. Sorry. We've seen it. And book of hello. I may have seen it twice. Oh my gosh. And then there are some wrapped up pieces to wrap us up. Surprise. All right. So which one would you like to open? The little one. I'm going to open the big one. 
Really um, I was tissue. about to say amazing tissue paper, Jake. Oh, that's cute. Um, all right, so this small one, this first one I have here, is a keychain um, that says Museum of Broadway, 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 Broadway. Um, it is in pride colors. That is really, really cute. I love that. Yeah, that's a nice keychain. I it's gold. It silver. changes cut like that's silver. I know, but from like one side, it looks like monochrome, like multi-chrome almost. Or maybe it's just oh, it's catching the warm light. It can... oh. The lights of Broadway. Sh what is this? What are those? That's okay. Cool. I gotta hold. We're gonna put these here for a moment and open the last one and then come back to those because I feel like that's yeah going to be something fun. And not that this is not gonna be fun. <laughs> oh, cool! Yeah, this is gorgeous. I actually was looking at this pin on something. Okay, thinking like we're gonna need to get. So that. we did happen to in our last. Our last trip was a really good trip, mm -hmm. and um, we saw Hades Town. This pin says it all. A flower? What is it? A flower for a kingdom? I can't remember. It's on the back of my shirt. It's definitely not a flower for a kingdom. It's something of a flower, something of a kingdom. I lied. I, I, that's not the quote. It's a kingdom will fall for a song. But the flower is very important and I love it. Imagine how the world could be. Oh my god. Okay, so. Um, so he show cards. Also included these amazing uh, show cards. So this one The Lights of Broadway, Show Cards 2022 Edition. Curious what's in here. This one is the Moulin Rouge, the musical edition. Which I'm assuming means that they're all... So the Lights of Broadway show cards celebrate the art of Broadway theater. Past, present, and future. Join us as we shine the spotlight on Moulin Rouge. Collect, trade, take a bow. Jake, did you just start something terrible? Because... The... Oh, cool. I am so excited. Another Lights of Broadway show cards. Mega Mix. Um, that's really cool. Which one should we open first? Um, I think we should open... You want to open Moulin Rouge first since we know what it is, or at least I feel like those aren't going to be all one show. These aren't easy to open. First up, Moulin Rouge. Oh, so cool. That's cool. So the first card we have here, come what may. They're almost in the style of like the Al Hirschfeld or um, Sardi's drawings. Yeah. Portraits. Um, here is John Logan, who wrote the book for Moon on Rouge. That's cool. Um, the uh, Ringmaster guy, what is his name? To Mo Welcome to Moulin Rouge! Um, oh, uh, Ziegfeld. Ziegfeld, there you go. Or Ziegler, because it's based there on... You go. Um, here is your song. That's I love that song. I really, really like this animation style of these. Oh, oh, I wonder if everyone gets that. I feel like it should be a chase. It's a lenticular, um, card of the windmill. windmill. That's really cool. That's really, really cool. Um, um, thank you. Those are fun. All right. Do we do Mega Mix next? Sure. Okay. Oh. First one I see is actually one of my favorite playwrights. I'm going to just go like this so I can show that one and you can flip over and do the rest. Oh, this is my man Tony Kushner. He wrote Angels in America is his most famous thing, um, but also um, Carolina Change, which was recently on Broadway, had a revival. He's, he's awesome. He also wrote the movie Lincoln. He's a great prolific modern playwright. Um, another one of our favorites, Laura Benanti. Oh, that girl! Um, she is a Broadway star like no other. Um, Her humor is not to be matched. 
She her story is hilarious too. If you ever have time to look her up, her getting cast in Sound of Music as a teenager as Maria in the na national tour, crazy. Oh. Um, here is uh, Dream Girls, um, which is a lot. Of I can't believe this. Just finished directing this show. We've got the original cast of Into the Woods here. Love it. And one of my least favorite musicals, <laughs> Oklahoma! Where the wind comes, even on the plane. <laughs> um, these are fun. I really like uh, the Lord of Nancy a lot. I know. I love these. All right, we've got one more pack. It's right here. The Lights of Broadway. 2022 edition. Name sounded familiar, but I actually don't think I know what it is. Oh, that's a good start. First, we have Nathan Lane. Um, who's that from Gary? So many things. Um, from what? Um, Max Bialystock. Is yeah, he's it's from the producers. I didn't know because it said 2022 if it was like a recent thing. That's so cool. His most well-known on Broadway credit, I would say. Um, this is Paul. Oh yeah, Paul on Shots. So he was, he most recently was in, um, or the thing I can remember him most recently in is South Pacific. Um, he played, and I'm, don't kill me, Rodgers and Hammerstein are not always my strongest. Um, I think it's Emil is the name of his character, but he is a Brazilian operatic baritone. South Pacific was, was, oh, he's in End Juliet. Oh. I think that he is the one that sings the lower song. He's the one that sings the songs like you that like. I love, yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, that's funny. Um, we have here Mary Rogers. Oh. Um, daughter of Richard Rogers and the writer of Once Upon a Mattress and the mother of Adam Gettle, who wrote um, Light in the Piazza. Sorry, random Broadway trivia. Billy Crystal, who is Mike Wazowski. Mike Wazowski just had his first musical that he wrote on Broadway, Mr. Saturday Night. Um, yeah, based on a 1992 film he starred in. That's cool. Oh, and actually the Mike Wazowski credits back here. Yes. Um, and then last but certainly not least, Susan Hilferty, um, who is a Broadway costume designer. I was about to say, I don't know that name off the top of my head, but that's a... Most recently, uh, The Funny Girl. I love that these cards are also doing designers and directors because the other one, or play, like we had a librettist in the other pack. Her most famous are the Wicked Ballgowns. Oh, Ballgown. Yeah. So, she's a big tip. Ballgown. That's so cool. I, I am so thrilled at all of this stuff. Yeah, this box was cool. This is a really cool swap and a really cool idea. So I, thank you for including us. Thank you, DC. It is, it's kind of a breath of fresh air to have a different topic that we do all love or most of us love. And the mix of the two is when it, when it really, when it hits my heart, really. Yeah, this was really cool because I don't, we don't do a lot of research in shopping for items from Broadway stuff. so. I feel like everything in this was a surprise of something we had never seen yeah. before, which is really cool. Normally we just go up and we see what they've got when we go to the shows. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you happen to be curious about our other content, make sure to click the subscribe button down below. We're off with your head! Also, because we are so grateful to our host DC over at Broadway Disney Fan and Jake at Jake's Disney Afternoon, Give us a thumbs up to show your appreciation as well. You two, we give you thumbs up. Yeah, and then go check out uh, Ajana... we sent to Ajana Claire. I know. Over at Zoelle's World. Um, it's a lot of fun. Um, leave us a comment down below which of the things that we got in our box today was your absolute favorite. What is your favorite Broadway musical? And yeah. why is it not Phantom of the Opera? Sorry. Why are you going to go right to Phantom when cats exist? Oh, it? yeah. Sorry. No, Phantom is yeah, great. Yeah. Cats. 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 You, you, we, can't, we can't squash Phantom with cats. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. And why is it not cats? Thank you. Um, what is your favorite thing that was in this box? I, I'm partial, but I really like this hat. Um, it's really cute and really fun. I think the pins of the marquees 
are going to be you've created a monster jake and i love that about about you because i want all of them thank you again and we hope you all have a golden afternoon and we also hope that you tune into the tony awards tonight because we need viewers so that they know that theater matters please this is the one time of year that theater is broadcast to everyone on public television and if you don't want to watch it please just like put it on in a room in your house and go in another room and do something else and we will see you guys in the future bye y'all goodbye see y'all later if you don't care for tea you could at least make polite conversation <laughs>